The bad news, we heard Jared Vanderbilt was a little bit dinged up. His status for the game still unknown, but we do have video evidence that he's walking fine. The Cats arrived in St. Louis today, and that's where we find our own Keith Farmer. Well, Charlie, welcome into True Blue St. Louis. So we have a different venue this year. We all got used to going to Nashville. Instead, this time it is here in St. Louis. And True Blue fans really already showing up to watch some of the games. This team now is excited. It is tournament time. It's something they have watched for years, and now they get to be a part of it. And with this SEC tournament, they are the four seed, so they still have to wait to find out who they will play on Friday at 3.30. But these Wildcats certainly know there is now a chance for them to get a tournament title, the 31st tournament title, and fourth in a row for this UK program. This is one of the best conferences this year. I mean, it's a lot of great teams. A lot of teams have been in the tournament. Like you said, this, any team can pretty much win this tournament. There's a lot of great teams. Uh, uh, you got a lot of teams that's right there on the boat, but I really need some wins in this tournament to get in the NCAA tournament, so they're going to come out playing pretty hard. But, I mean, like I said, it's up in the air. I think anyone could really win it. All right, so all the Wildcats need now is an opponent. They know part of the puzzle because Georgia earlier tonight knocked off Vanderbilt, so the Bulldogs will move on to face Missouri on Thursday at about 3.30. Kentucky will get the winner of that game on Friday at about 3.30. That'll do it from here in True Blue St. Louis. I'm Keith Farmer. Let's go now back to the studios with Charlie Walter. Meanwhile, at all so as Keith said, Georgia American will take on Missouri tomorrow. Michael if UK Porter faces the Tigers, they will most likely see that guy, Michael Porter Jr. He's one of the top recruits in the country. He will play in tomorrow's game. Coach Conzo Martin saying potentially 20 to 25 minutes He's been out Let's all year after undergoing back surgery in the fall. Let's transition to the Sweet 16. Mercer County taking on Murray. Sagan Robbins, there she is, a finalist for Miss Basketball, and she was balling. Robbins, first the pull up. Then Robbins, the stop and start three. That makes it 14 to 12. Actually, excuse me, that's Emmy Souter. Off the miss, cleans it up and puts it in. There's the stop and start three from Robbins. Bingo, got it. And then back to Robbins. One more time. That's a three-pointer in the second half. Makes it 42 to 29. All Mercer County. They're heading back to the Elite Eight. They win 55 to 44. We talked so much about their Fat Five. Here's Coach on Tony McCombs and their bench. Really starting to figure out what we want from her, and you know she's just a hard matchup for anybody. And and uh, so for them to, to come off the bench and our level of play goes up is what you want from your team. Is so, uh, and we've always thought that here at Mercer is, is that once we go to our bench, you know, you kids are just as important as anybody else, and, and they realize that. They would meet the winner of Harlan County and Clark County. Harlan's Blair Green catches the lob down low. The bucket, that puts Harlan up four zip early, but luckily the first to score doesn't always win. Malaya Bell. The bucket for Clark County. Then Kennedy Igo from downtown. She'll hit it in the background. We'll save the score now. Clark County advances. They win 70 to 56.